what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. It is about that time. It's, I'm happy, I'm sad, I'm nervous as shit, and I'm already rambling without even saying that today we're gonna be checking out Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part two. Don't Now, guys, I'm whipping out everything I have. It's already off to an unfortunate start. I meant like my Hufflepuff scarf, right? The mustache. I'm trying to bring everything full circle for this. I had some chocolate, chocolate. but I literally, uh, there's one piece left. I stress ate that. Uh, I think I'm just stalling. If I'm being honest, dude, I'm really sad that this is the last Harry Potter movie. Granted, we're not done with the Harry Potter universe. We still have cool things to get into. Like, I think Fantastic Beasts or the Harry Potter show coming up in years and years and forever away. We're not done with Harry Potter. I think that this would be really fun, right? I was talking to my wife and she gave me this idea. She was saying- You have to get a certain number of likes on your video Harry Potter tat. Deathly Hallows. Deathly Hallows. I was also thinking that we could, I don't know, I've called a creature Crack Dobby. So I was like, let the most liked comment decide what tattoo it would be. Is that too much? I wouldn't give them that much control over it. Yeah, we're gonna do it. <laughs> what if they tell you to get Harry <laughs> 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 it has to be a Harry Potter tattoo. Well, maybe Harry has a Harry. <laughs> <laughs> now this is interesting because it's not that it's not a tattoo I would normally get, but I thought that would be cool for you guys to be able to earn it if you give a fuck. If not, totally cool, move on. But if you guys can get this video, I don't know, seventy-five thousand likes. Let's go with that number. I'll do it. I'll immediately go and get it wherever I am in the world. Oh, and people on Patreon, you're gonna get the opportunity to pick the placement of it. And there's honestly nothing more that needs to be said. Do something to break the tension. That's on brand. Voldemort's dirty ass swooping in and grabbing the Elder's Wand. I guess it's Elder Wand. Not like a damn wand for the Elders. <laughs> It's a little nerve-wracking. This is music you hear when people die. This is death music. Snape. That is terrifying, but really badass. It's like some Game of Thrones shit. Aw, oh, dude. For the last time, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, part two. Oh my god, that is literally how we're starting this? Whoa, little flip of the mirror right there. Luna! <laughs> she makes me happy. Muggles think these keep evil away, but they're wrong. <laughs> okay. I need to talk to the goblin. This is the same goblin from the very first movie? Probably don't remember, don't you? That I showed you to your vault the first time you came to Gringotts? Even amongst goblins, you're famous, Harry Potter. It is him! How did you come by this sword? Can you please wash your hands, dude? Hygiene is not good. It's complicated. <laughs> Why did Bellatrix Lestrange think it should be in her vault at Gringotts? It's complicated. It's complicated. It's <laughs> Yeah! There is a sword in Madame Lestrange's vault identical to this one. But it is a fake. There are more than a few curious things in the vaults at Gringotts. Oh. And in Madame Lestrange's vault as well? Perhaps. I need to get into Gringotts. Into one of the vaults. This is impossible. With you? No. <laughs> yeah, you're OG. I have gold. I have no interest in gold. Then what? He points to Hermione. That. The sword? That is my prize. What are you gonna do with the sword? You're sitting in a rocking chair all day. No, they can't do that. How the hell are they gonna destroy the Horcruxes? Are you thinking there's a Horcrux in Bellatrix's vault? I bet you anything there's a Horcrux in there. Let's find it, kill it, and then we're one step closer to killing him. How are we supposed to destroy it now you're giving the sword to Grip? Yeah. I'm still working on that part. Mr. Ollivander, would you mind identifying this wand? We need to know if it's safe to use. This belonged to Bellatrix Lestrange. Okay. And this? This? Was the wand of Draco Malfoy? Was. I sense its allegiance has changed. 
changed. If somebody uses another person's wand, like if Harry used Bellatrix's wand, would he become more like her? Does it have any effect on the person like that? I don't know. And what do you know about the Deathly Hallows? It is rumored there are three. Together, they make one the master of death. 75,000 likes. I'll get it. Do you believe they exist, sir? I see no reason to put stock into an old wife's tale. My ass, old timer. My ass. You know one exists. You told him about the Elder Wand. He tortured me. Oh, God. There's no telling whether he will find it. Well, he found it. He has found it, sir. I mean, would you assume that you could hint at where it would be and he wouldn't find it? He's after you, Mr. Potter. Yeah, we know that, dude. Been after him for five movies. You really don't stand a chance. Nah, my ass. We got the Cloak of Invisibility. I suppose I'll have to kill him before he finds me, then. Oh. You sure that's hers? Positive. Polyjuice potion time? Oh my god, Bellatrix. <laughs> How do I look? Super weird seeing that and hearing Hermione's voice. Let's go, Ron! The mountain man beard? Now, going back to the cloak real quick, I want to know how the fuck did Harry get that in the first place? I know he got it from Dumbledore, but how did Dumbledore get the cloak of invisibility? To give to Harry. If you get us past the guards and into the vault, the sword's yours. Adam the Strange. Good morning. <laughs> Terrible start, Hermione. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> you need to say, hey, bitches! Or actually, kind of like you're cracked out. <laughs> Hello! Okay, I couldn't do it either. Let's do it. Hop on, Gob. All right, we're cloaked up, cloaked out. Something's gonna go very wrong, isn't it? <laughs> uh, hey, bastard, I'm standing right here. I wish to enter my vault. <laughs> the voice is so far off, it's, it's really bad. Madame Lestrange. I don't like to be kept waiting. I know. Oh shit. You meandering ass man, dude's got a slow ass walk. What do we do, Harry? Would you mind presenting your wand? And why should I do that? Wait, they have her wand, right? I must insist. Show him the wand. Imperium. Madame Lestrange, if you will follow me. Okay, I mean, that works too. Hit him with the one, two, but don't they have the wand? Just a damn roller coaster in the rocks. Who maintains that? Who in the Harry Potter world maintains that? It's gotta have malfunctions every now and again. Look at that jankety ass thing. What is that grip hook? <laughs> Fuck? You look like you again. The thief's downfall washes away all enchantments. What the devil are all you doing down here? Thieves! The Imperia! You... Dude, that's the best. It's like they just breathe in blunt smoke. <sighs> that doesn't sound good. Yeah, it does. Oh, shit. That's the Ukrainian iron belly. Been trained to expect pain when it hears the noise. Aww, no, that's so sad. Ron, chill. Is it in here, Harry? Can you feel anything? Yep. Up there. Everything you touch will multiply. Give me the sword. Oh, they have the, okay, good. They have the sword, nice. Yeah, okay, I guess they haven't given it to him yet. Makes sense. Stop moving. That's awesome. You can just touch a bunch of cool shit. We had a deal, Gripbuck. The cup for the sword. I said I'd get you in. I didn't say anything about getting you out. You fucking little bitch. What a dumbass little goblin, dude. I thought he was good. Gripbuck. It's that little kid. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Get away, bastard! We can't just stand here! Who's got an idea? I've got something, but it's mad! Oh my god! She just mounted the dragon. Well, come on then! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! This is 
super badass. Projector. Hold on. <laughs> oh my god. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yo. How majestic is that? Flying on the back of a dragon? Let's go back and break that little goblin bastard's kneecaps. Take our sword back. We're dropping. Wow, this is shot so well. Really cool to see like the newest age edit on this last movie. You know who? He knows we're hunting Horcruxes. He's angry and scared too. I reckon he'll stop at nothing to make sure we don't find the rest. One of them's at Hogwarts. What? We have to go there now. Harry, you're pretty swole, dude. Both of y'all need to go to a beach, Jesus. There's something wrong with him. I've always been able to follow his thoughts and now everything just feels disconnected. If anything, he feels more dangerous. Oh shit. That old ass woman snake? Totally frightening. <gasps> well, honestly, fuck that goblin. It's an awful sound. Sounds like a cat getting skinned over and over again. In here, Potter. Did you get a look at him? For a second, I thought it was. I know. Dumbledore. Fuck. All right. I can see you in this. Is Harry like looking for Dumbledore when he looks in that, that glass? Fools. What are you thinking coming here? You're Aberforth, Dumbledore's brother. It's you who I've been seeing in here. <gasps> You're the one who sent Dobby. Oh, Dumbledore's brother's in the glass. We need to get into Hogwarts. Dumbledore gave us a job to do. Did he now? Nice job. Easy. <laughs> We've been hunting Horcruxes. Not a job my brother's given you. A suicide mission. Dumbledore trusted me to see this through. What makes you think you can trust him? <laughs> Ron's over here just munching down hard. He's like, huh? Yeah, y'all keep talking. It's pretty good. Pimento cheese? Thanks. You don't strike me as a fool, Harry Potter. So I'd ask you again. There must be a reason. <laughs> the Dumbledore family's intense as hell. I'm not interested in what happened between you and your brother. I don't care that you've given up. We need to get into the castle tonight. So you can help us or you can continue to sit your ass on the couch smelling like canned cheese and Vienna sausages. Did save our lives twice. Kept an eye on us in that mirror. That doesn't seem like someone who's given up. Right. Where have you sent her? Don't see. That's your sister Ariana, isn't it? She died very young, didn't she? My brother sacrificed many things, Mr. Potter, on his journey to find power, including Ariana. She's coming back. Neville. Look, you don't like hell, I reckon. Neville, what's up, dude? Oh my God, it's Cardigan Neville. Neville, you look like a librarian, dude, and I'm I'm here for it, man. It's the Caros you need to watch out for. Yeah, brother and sister in charge of discipline. They like punishment, the Caros. They did that to you. Hogwarts has changed. Hogwarts looks dark as fuck now. Can't see a goddamn thing. Hey, what's up, you lot? Thought you a surprise. Flying. Dang! <laughs> Imagine he takes your shirt off! Get the word out to Remus and the others that Harry's back. Lightning has struck, I repeat. Right lightning has struck. What's the plan, Harry? Oh, lightning has struck like Harry Potter, sir? He's got the lightning on his face? There's something we need to find. And it may help us defeat you-know-who. Right. What is it? We don't know. <laughs> Where is it? We don't know that either. <laughs> Are you sure it's real? We don't know. I think it has something to do with Ravenclaw. Small, easily concealed. Anyone any ideas? Last item of Ravenclaw? Hasn't anyone heard of it? Luna, who hit you? There isn't a person alive today who's seen it. Excuse me, can someone tell me what a bloody diadem is? It's a sort of crown, you know, like a tiara. Harry. Ginny! Six months she hasn't seen me, and it's like I'm Frankie first year. <laughs> <laughs> it's only one, Harry. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> Snape knows. He knows that Harry was spotted in Hogsmeade. I love this movie for so many reasons. One of the reasons is because they do a great job of toggling back and forth between like comedy and just pure darkness and death. And just going back and forth between those things. Earlier this evening, Harry Potter was sighted in Hogsmeade. Snape, what kind of shit is going on here? Hogwarts run by Snape is weird. Any person who fails to come forward will be treated equally guilty. Okay. Could you say that with less emotion on your face? Equally guilty. Anyone here has any knowledge, I invite them to step forward now. 
This whole place gives me a cult vibe now. It seems, despite your exhaustive <sighs> defensive strategies, you still have a bit of a security problem, Headmaster. Oh, shit. I'm afraid it's quite extensive. Yo, we're rolling deep. How dare you stand where he stood. Tell them how you looked him in the eye and killed him. Tell them. Oh, shit. Snape McGonagall? Damn, it's crazy because throughout all these movies, it's like we, us fans have wanted, or I guess y'all have already seen this for years, but I've wanted to see the professors fucking fight each other and like see what they can really do. That was a, that was a cool moment. Know that many of you will want to fight. What? Give me Harry Potter and none shall be harmed. What does give me Harry Potter mean? Is they're just gonna like agree to it? Nah, fuck off. Satan incarnate. That's what Voldemort is. What are you waiting for? Someone grab him. Shut up, bitch. Students at the bank. Students <laughs> in the corridor. They, yeah, we see. <laughs> they are supposed to be out of bed, you blithering idiot. <laughs> oh. I presume you have a reason for returning, Potter. What is it you need? Time. I'll secure the castle. <sighs> Potter, it's good to see you. Aww. It's good to see you too, Professor. Yo. Hold the phone, Neville. <laughs> Neville's like, yeah, nigga, I'm still fucking with you. Guess who's back? I got you, H. Pot. <laughs> Neville, you changed, but for the much better. It doesn't matter if we find a Horcrux. What do you mean? Unless we can destroy it. Right. You destroy Tormund's diary with a basilisk fang, right? Me and Hermione think we know where we might find one. Where? Okay, but take this. That way you can find me when you get back. Where are you going? Uh, Ravenclaw Common Room. Gotta start somewhere. Excuse me, last day of school vibes, you, you know? Where you're in the familiar territory that school is, but everything's chaotic and weird. That's what I'm getting right here. You're actually giving us permission to blow it up. Boom. Boom. Wicked. <laughs> Mrs. Weasley! We can't keep up you-know-who indefinitely. And his name is Voldemort. Phileas, you might as well use it. He's going to try to kill you either way. Locomotor! <gasps> Holy shit! That is awesome! Why don't you do that spell like 30 times? I've always wanted to use that spell. Hell yeah! She's like, they got nice rumps. <laughs> Damn! I need to talk to you! I'm a bit preoccupied at the moment. You won't find anything where you're going. You're wasting your time. Luna, spit it out! Harry Potter! You listen to me right now! There's not a person alive who's seen us. We have to talk to someone who's dead. What? <gasps> talk to someone who's dead! Uh... The stone! The stone! Resurrection stone! We have to use the resurrection... Right? Unless we can already talk to dead people or something. You're the grey lady. It's Helena, isn't it? Helena Ravenclaw. Are you a friend of Luna's? Yeah. You seek my mother's diadem. That's right. I cannot help you. Yeah, you can, and you're gonna do it. Wait, please! Yeah, you can't just spear it through his chest like that and not help. I want to destroy it! Oh, Jesus. This is literally going to be like an all-out bloodbath war, isn't it? I wish he whispered something creepy. Daddy's home. <laughs> Begin. You want it destroyed? Another swore to destroy it many years ago. A strange boy with a strange name. Tom Riddle. He's lied to many people. I know what he's done! He defiled it! With dark magic! Okay. Well, Harry's not nearly the same as Tom Riddle. I can destroy it once and for all. Only if you tell me where he hid it. Luna is so clutch. Can we acknowledge her for a second? She has such important information. You remind me of him a bit. Okay. It's here. In the place where everything is hidden. In the place where everything is hidden. If you have to ask, you'll never know. Okay, well, great. So I'll never know. If you know, you need only ask. Thank you. This whole Harry Potter world is just cryptic as hell, but that's why we have Hermione. Wait, Ron, what? How the hell do you know Parcel Tongue? Harry talks in his sleep. Oh. <laughs> 
the anxiety is real right now, dude. Because last movie was a build up and the first half of this movie is continuing to build. <sighs> Yeah! <laughs> you and who's army! Neville, okay, don't say stupid shit like that. You and who's army! I want to send you to the moon, lads! Neville, work on the shit talk, okay? You do it. He's getting weaker. But Harry also looked like he was hurt. Oh shit, okay. Wait, we've never seen them kiss like that, have we? <laughs> you got a little toothpaste right here. <laughs> I'm, I'm nervous that if they kill all the Horcruxes, Harry's gonna fucking die. Neville, you better run your ass fast as hell, dude. Wait, Neville's <laughs> Holy shit! Neville! No. Yeah! I went well. Oh, I thought he dropped. <laughs> Whoa! Neville! Are you alright? I feel like I can spit fire! <laughs> you gotta see Luna, have you? Luna? I'm not for her! I think it's about time I told her since we'll probably both be dead by dawn! Neville and Luna? Oh my god! Oh my god! Shit! Ginny! Okay! Neville and Luna are the is the couple I never knew I needed. Bloody hell, we'll never find it on this. There he is. Just that. Uh... Pretty. <laughs> Vanished. Just now I saw it. Oh, because he's using the invisibility cloak. Maybe he's gone to the room requirement. It doesn't show up on the lab, does it? Oh. You said that last year. That's right, I, I did. Let's go. Brilliant. <laughs> Ron came in clutch this time. Leave it to Ron to come in clutch at the very last movie. Oh, where everything is hidden. Oh, God. Nasty little goblin hellfly? Wow! Oh god, someone's there. Well, well. What brings you here, Potter? Really, Draco? You have something of mine. What? Why didn't you tell her? Bellatrix. Tell her that it was Harry. Why did he not say anything? You knew it was me. You didn't say anything. Don't be a prat. Do him. Shut up, dude! Get out of That's my girlfriend, you nut! <laughs> Let's go, Ron! I love his protective nature, that's cool. And that he called her his girlfriend! Oh, I forgot what those little fucks were called from like the second or third movie. Oh, Jesus, time to go! Time to go! Just like, I, I don't know, they're bringing everything back for this last movie. The Draco Harry feud, riding around on brooms and shit. Oh my god, are we gonna save Malfoy? We can't leave them! He's joking, right? I guess Malfoy saved him. It's only right. If we die for them, Harry, I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> Now, if after this, Draco is ever an asshole to Harry, he deserves to be slapped in the mouth. I mean, arguably, he already deserves to be slapped in the mouth, but... Harry! Oh my god! The special effects of this movie are awesome! Uh. Yeah, what do you need, a respirator, Voldemort? Are you with your raspy, raggedy-ass breath? My lord. Who found the kitchen? Dude, y'all are already starting to lose. You can't be killing off your team, dude. Come, Nagini. I need to keep you safe. <gasps> Is Nagini a horcrux? Is that a stupid-ass question? Probably so. It's the snake. It's the last horcrux. Wow. Find out where he is. If we find him, we can find the snake. And we can end this. 
Oh, dude needs some lotion. Someone get Voldemort some Lubriderm. Before the night is out, he will come to me. Look at me. Go and find Severus. Bring him to me. I still want to know more about Snape. Like, last movie, I still got questions about the dude. I know where he is. Massive ass beasts. Oh, God. It's cool to see them bring every trick up their sleeve out. They're bringing everything out for this movie. And it's sad because it just highlights the fact it's the last movie, but it's so cool to see. Resist me. There is no one more powerful. <gasps> oh, fuck. When the boy comes, it will not fail you, I'm sure. Nah. My lord. Voldemort, you look like a serpent, dude. You got like that thin ass testicle skin. The Elder Wand cannot serve me properly because I am not its true master. It's hairy, isn't it? It's gotta be. The Elder Wand belongs to the wizard who killed its last owner. Oh, Snape? Oh. <gasps> You killed Dumbledore, Severus. Oh! Oh my god, he's gonna kill Snape! You've been a good and faithful servant, Severus. My lord. Oh fuck! Nagini. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh my god. Snape just died. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Oh. Take them. Take who? Take what? Quickly, a flask, anything. Wait, what? His tears? They're white. Why? Are we collecting them? Look at me. You have your mother's eyes. Why is he saying that? It's the music from the beginning. It's death music. Harry Potter, you have allowed your friends to die for you rather no. than face me yourself. No. Join me in the Forbidden Forest. If you do not do this, I shall kill every last man, woman, and child. Oh my god. Is there anything else to say in this movie besides oh my god? I don't, I don't think so. It's getting hot as fuck. Hurry. <sighs> fuck. There's a lot of death in this movie already. The whole Weasley family. Wow. Oh, shit. He's seeing everybody he loves die around him. What, was that supposed to be the tears? That was a shit ton of tears. Severus, oh my god. Hi, I'm Lily. Snape liked Lily. The prophecy spoke of a boy born at the end of July. Yes, but he thinks it's her son. Hide them all, I beg you. What will you give me in exchange, Severus? Anything. Harry, Mama loves you. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> The Dark Lord will return. He has her eyes. No one can know. When you risk your life every day to protect the boy. My father was a great man. Your father was a swine. We both know Lord Voldemort has ordered the Malfoy boy to murder me. But should he fail, the Dark Lord will turn to you. <gasps> you must be the one to kill me, Severus. Wait, Dumbledore knew? Only then will the Dark Lord trust you completely. Oh. <laughs> Oh! There will come a time when Harry Potter must be told something. Must be told what? Yeah, and then tell him what? On the night Lord Voldemort went to kill Harry, the curse rebounded. When that happened, a part of Voldemort's soul latched itself under the only living thing. It Into Harry? Harry himself. Oh my god! There's a reason he could look into Lord Voldemort's mind. Because he is part Voldemort. Part of Voldemort lives inside him. Oh my god. So when the time comes, 
the boy must die? Yes, he must die. Oh my God. Oh my God. You've kept him alive so that he can die at the proper moment. You've been raising him like a pig for slaughter. Don't tell me now that you've grown to care for the boy. Oh my God. <gasps> oh my God. Snape sent the Patronus. After all this time. Always. So when the time comes, the boy must die. Voldemort himself must do it. That is essential. That Voldemort kills the last piece of him. Which would be Harry. Oh my god. Oh, that was a lot to take in. Are you gonna tell Ron and Hermione? I need to sit and process this. Ron, Hermione, stop sucking each other's faces. Oh, they're not. Okay, they just had their heads together. We thought you went to the forest. I'm going there now. You can't give yourself up to him. He has to. There's a reason I can hear them. The Horcruxes. I think I've known for a while. And I think you have too. She just didn't want to believe it. Kill the snake and then it's just him. It's not the same. Obviously Harry Potter's not the same without Harry Potter. God damn it. I don't know, I, I knew that it's not gonna be happy, but. I open at the close. I'm ready to die. Holy shit, I'm not ready for that. The hell is that? Wait, is that the is that the fucking gem or whatever that lets people resurrect? The resurrection star. Wait, so the fuck? Harry's got two now though. He's got he's got the cloak and he's got the stone. He just needs the wand. And then he's the master of death. I, I don't know what master of death means. I don't know if that means you don't die or what. Why are you here? All of you. We never left. Does it hurt? Dying. Quicker than falling asleep. Wow. Oh. You'll stay with me. Until the end. And he won't be able to see you. No. Wow. I mean, he doesn't have to go there alone. That's nice. Stay close to me. Always. Oh my God, my hands are so sweaty. I thought he would come. Here he is. Holy shit. Harry? No! What are you doing here? Hagrid! Harry Potter, the boy who lived, come to die. Gotta kill that bitch snake first. <laughs> She's supposed to kill the snake first? Did he die? He's been dirty as hell these last two movies that his hair looks washed and clean. <gasps> oh, Jesus! Harry, you wonderful boy. Let us walk. This is what I imagine death to be like. So instead of Dumbledore, you're talking to Jesus. Unless you go to heaven and Dumbledore is Jesus. And exactly where are we? I was going to ask you that. It looks like King's Cross Station, only cleaner. <laughs> yeah, much cleaner. And without all the trains. And without people sprinting into walls. So it's true then, sir. A part of him lives within me, doesn't it? Did. It was just destroyed many moments ago by none other than Voldemort himself. You were the Horcrux he never meant to make, Harry. Oh my god, I never even thought that Harry could be a Horcrux. Wow. I have to go back, haven't I? That's up to you. I have a choice. Oh yes. You'll be able to board a train. And where would it take me? On. On? What? Voldemort has the Elder Wand, and the snake's still alive, and I've nothing to kill it with. Help will always be given at Hogwarts, Harry, to those who ask for it. Well, help! Give me something to kill it with! Help will always be given at Hogwarts to those who deserve it. Okay. Do not pity the dead, Harry. Pity the living. All those who live without love. Damn. Professor, my mother's Patronus was a doe. That's the same as Professor Snape's. It doesn't seem curious at all. Why not? I'll be going now, Harry. 
No, I, wait, we have more questions. Wait, so your Patronus, like, is the animal version of you. I mean, that's why Umbridge is a cat, because she's a prissy little bitch that walks away and shows your asshole. But what does it mean that Snape and Lily's were the same? You I don't need your help. Obviously you do, you're laying flat on your back. Boy, is he dead? He has the resurrection stone though, so I don't know what that means. <gasps> He's alive! Dead. What? Oh, is he? Okay, is he dead or? I guess he is. I thought he was moving. Okay, okay. No remorse whatsoever. Just hurling giant beasts off the bridge. It's fine. Someone stomp that snake out! Who is that? Hagrid's carried. You know who it is. Harry Potter! He's dead! No! Ginny, honestly, what are you gonna do? Run up to Voldemort and slap him around? Stupid girl. Harry Potter is dead. You put your faith in me. No, nobody wants to do that, psycho fuck. Harry Potter is dead! <laughs> Come forward and join us or die. I just know your breast stinks like shit. Draco. Draco's on Team Potter? Okay. Well done. It's a very weird, uncomfortable hug. Neville, you better be going there to whip your dick out and spit in his face or something disrespectful. Say I'd hoped for better. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. And who might you be, young man? I'm Neville Longbottom, bitch. Neville Longbottom. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's the cracked out Bellatrix that we're used to. <laughs> I'd like to say something. Doesn't matter that Harry's gone. People die every day. We lost Harry tonight. He's still with us. Look at that disgusting ass snake just laying on the ground. He's alive, his lips are quivering. They didn't die in vain. Well, Romilda did. But you will. Because you're wrong. Fuck you, Voldemort. <laughs> this is not over. Confringo. <laughs> Shit! Let's go! He can't be killed again! Fuck you, Voldemort! We have to kill the snake! Oh shit! Final battle time? Voldemort is disgusting with his nasty ass sharp little teeth. Oh shit. I mean, there's one more Horcrux left. This is gonna be the craziest version of Voldemort we've ever seen. <laughs> he gets hit back in the head and knocked back out. Come on, Neville. Come on, Neville. Oh my God. <laughs> Mrs. Weasley! Not my daughter, you bitch! <laughs> oh. oh shit! Mrs. Weasley does dishes and takes names! Let's go! <laughs> and nobody want piece of Miss Weasley! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Go home and make a shepherd's pie. Dude, she's a fucking rock star. That one was failing you. It will always pass. I killed Snape. But what if the one never belonged to Snape? What if its allegiance was always to someone else? It's to me, bitch. Come on, Tom. Let's finish this the way we started. Together. Oh, God. <laughs> fucking hell. Oh my gosh. Now see, in this scene, I know I used the wrong pictures for the thumbnail the last video. That probably threw some people off. Let's go, Neville! You fucking badass! Oh, my boy came in deep, big dick in the sword and swinging it. Wow.
That wand's failing you. Now if Harry gets it, he'll have every... He'll be the master of death? Let's go. Suck my balls, Voldy. That's what I would say if I wrote the script. Wow. Again, the death music coming back in, man. Wow. He just fucking died. <laughs> Neville. <gasps> Holy shit. <laughs> That's enough. We know we know where that relationship is gonna go. They're gonna have eight children. Still eyeballing Harry, I see. Harry. <laughs> As if Harry Potter wasn't famous enough. Now he's the boy who didn't die twice, and he's the guy that killed Voldemort. Although Neville should be getting some serious credit. Harry, please do get down from there. <laughs> Haven't we already had enough close calls with death? Why didn't it work for him? The Elder Wand. It answered to somebody else. When he killed Snape, he thought the wand would become his. But the thing is... The wand was never Snape's. The wand never belonged to Snape. Yeah. It was Draco, and the wand answered him. <gasps> to Draco? Until the other night, when I disarmed Draco. Oh. So that means... That Harry's the master of death! It's mine. You had the blanket from Dumbledore, Dumbledore also gave you the stone, and now he's got the wand. The most powerful wand in the world. would be invincible. <sighs> Why? So that it couldn't get into the wrong hands again? But who's the wrong hands now? He's killed everybody that's bad. Hermione, don't smile. That type of thing bothers me. I mean, it makes sense, but... It's crazy that they did it. No, do not show me credits. 19 years later, thank God there's more. 19 years later? People, other kids taking their first journey. Oh, I don't, dude. It's a beautiful thing, but it makes my stomach hurt, kinda. <gasps> Together. Harry and Ginny's kid? Oh, oh my god. Draco! I wonder if they're gonna be friends or not, or if that feud is gonna continue. Back? Yeah. Hermione and Ron's kids! <laughs> look at little Carrot Top Boy. Ron, you look like you put on some weight, dude. Hermione's been making them pot roasts. Dad, what if I have put in slither? <laughs> you won't be. Albus Severus Potter. <gasps> you were named after two headmasters. Albus of Severus Potter? One of them was a Slytherin, and he was the bravest man I've ever known. If it really means that much to you, you can choose Gryffindor. Really? <laughs> really. Uh, really? Ready? I don't want it to be over. Now I just have flashbacks of them eating fucking weird tasting gummy uh, jelly beans and shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Who's Scraggly McGee in the back ruining the shot? Oh, no. <sighs> Fuck, man. Is there anything after? <sighs> Fuck. Oh, gosh, dude. I mean, that movie was everything that it needed to be. It was like the the perfect closing, the perfect full circle. Everything that we needed to happen, happened. Just as a fan, now it's like, I wish there was so much more. I wish there was 10 more movies because I would, I would love them and enjoy them all. That movie just hit different. First and foremost, because it was so emotional. The entire movie were no filler scenes. It was action scene after action scene after important scene after bomb drop after mind fuck. Like it did not let up on the gas. The, the soundtrack that wrapped this movie up was incredible to like really, really set the tones of this. And then just the shit that happened, you know? Like, I first of all, I love that Harry Potter lived. I, I There's a big part of me that thought he was gonna die. But the realization about Snape and learning about Snape and who he really was and the fact that Harry's entire life, Snape was trying to protect him. 
just for the sheer love that Snape had for Harry's mom. Like, it was such a beautiful thing. Knowing that Snape sent the Patronus, like... <sighs> really love that. The fight scenes in this movie were insane. The duels, the professors dueling, Voldemort and Harry dueling. Like, there were so many badass scenes. <sighs> Such an epic fucking battle, and I feel like I could literally talk about this movie for hours now. The Let me touch on just the series as a whole. It was such an immersive world to get into. This wasn't even just a set of movies. This was an entire world, an entire fantasy universe to dive into and tap into and really learn who these characters are. You develop a relationship with them, and you learn to love them. At least I did, and I know that a shit ton of you guys did as well. Um, but the way that they were able to make these characters seem like they were your friends, your family, you want what's best for them. The storyline that they took throughout this entire eight movie fucking masterpiece was so cool. The arcs of all the characters were insane. The arc of the storyline. The pacing of the entire movie, like they did such a phenomenal job made up of all these crazy, intricate, very cool little details that I go back and watch all these movies for a second time. I feel like I'm going to pick up on everything. The fuck was that that I missed out on? Um, so I'm excited for that. Really makes me want to read the books and I've been brainstorming of ways that I could make cool, engaging, fun reactions to those books. Um, I haven't figured out a way yet, but I am, <laughs> I'm upset just for the fact that it's over. And like I said, we got a lot more movies and stuff to, to dive into. So the world's not being left behind, but definitely the end of an era for sure in our movie watching community. Um, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much. If Harry Potter is what brought you to this channel, I hope you find some value here. I just, I had such a fun time with each and every one of you tuning into the premieres and, and watching this story develop. And honestly, it's cool because I never was really about Harry Potter growing up. So to develop a relationship and a, and a love for these characters in this story, this later, this late on in my life, I'm just thankful for it that I got the opportunity to see what to to listen to the story and watch it being told um, and then just being able to understand it and be a part of that was really special. So I want to say thank you guys for welcoming me into your community with open arms. If you guys do hit that outlandish as goal of 75,000 likes, I will get that tattoo ASAP. I've had such a good time. So I want to say thank you guys so much for every single thing you've done for me during this journey. Let's continue it strong and I will see you in the next one. Love you guys. Peace. Bye.